Hello and welcome to Indusian News. You are watching this bulletin with me, Rafa. The news in detail. M. G. Vaidya, S. Journalist, X. M. L. C. Sanskrit scholar, and first official spokesperson of Rashtriya Swamsevak Sangh died after a brief illness here on Saturday. Vaidya was admitted at Spandan Hospital where he breathed last. His last rite will be performed on Sunday at Ambazari Ghar. In his condolence message, Nitin Gadkar said, "Senior volunteer, senior editor, and thinker of RSS, my humble tribute to Deputy Chief Babu Rao Vaidya." Babu Rao had the fortune of working with Pujya Guruji along with all the Sar Sangh drivers and experienced them closely. Babu Rao has a big contribution in the ideological formation of the Sangh. As editor of Nagpur Tarun Bharat, Babu's contribution in journalism will always be an inspiration. He has a big contribution in the formation of Jan Sangh. His career as an MLA will always be an ideal for all peoples. Representatives. A cash amount of four lakh thirty thousand was stolen from a house in Watroda Police Station area. Police said, according to police, the theft took place between December 13 and 18. An identified thief decamped with the cash kept in a steel box at the house of Naresh Ram Chandra Chakole, a resident of Plot Number no. Three, Omnagar. The theft came to force on December 18. Police said, an offense under Section 454. 457 and 380 of Indian Penal Code was registered by Watara Police. In yet another case, an identified thief stolen jeweler and cash collectively was rupees 117,000 from a house in Kalavna. According to police, Shubham Gulabrao Bokhde, a resident of Annapurna Nagar, had gone somewhere on Friday and his mother was sleeping at home. The theft introduced the home and walked away with the jewelry, police added. An unidentified thief sneaked into a house under the jurisdiction of Purukeshwar Police Station and camped with gold ornaments, jewelry, and money in cash, collectively worth Rs. 1,37,000. Police sources elaborated on the incident, saying that the burglary took place between 4 p.m. and 10.45 p.m. when the complainant, Sachin Prem Chandra Jaiswal, a resident of plot number 199 in Shah Nagar, had gone to the Tabardi with his family members. The thief entered the house after breaking open the latch of the front door and walked away with the booty, police said. The theft came to light. At a family's elder supported the incident to the Hurkeshwar police station where officials have registered a case under the relevant section of the IPC and further investigation and hunt for the accused is on. Social activist and educationalist Amul Harki along with his colleagues he made former MLA Ashish Deshmukh gently to sign the farmers protest movement in Nagpur and Vidarbha. The agenda of the meeting was farmers' bill protest movement in Vidarbha, youth employment and empowerment, and implementing concept of a smaller states for sake of better administration and decentralization of power at appropriate level. Historically, Vidarbha has borne the brunt of neglect as the bulk of the checkers' money and resources of the state have been diverted for the development of Western Maharashtra. Various other important and relevant points like farmers' issues, laborers' issues, job creation for youth and establishing of educational institutions and industries in Tier 2 and Tier 3 cities were also discussed during the eventful meeting. Member of the delegation comprised of Sunil Chokhare, Colonel Singh Digwa, Bunty Done and others. Maharashtra Minister of State for Water Resources, School Education, Women and Child Development, Bachu Karu addressed a press conference in city on Friday over the issue of excessive fees charged by some city schools. He encouraged parents to come forward and report to concerned authorities in case they are facing issues of excessive fees being charged by the school administration. Karu further informed that action against 15 schools in Nagpur, three schools each in Pune and Mumbai has been commenced. He also added that parents usually hesitate to report such instances on many occasions. If parents like those from Narayana Vidyalaya come forward with the proper evidence, then the government can take appropriate action. Kadu also added that no school can stop online classes if the concerned student does not pay his fees. Also, school cannot raise their fees every year. During the lockdown induced by the outbreak of the COVID-19 pandemic, the business of hawkers had practically subsidized and they were on the verge of starvation. In the interest of street vendors, under the Pradhan Mantri Pathavikrita Atmanirbhar Nidhi launched by the central government, 
the Nagpur Municipal Corporation has sanctioned a working capital loan of Rs 10,000 to as many as 8,255 street vendors. Of them, working capital loans have been provided to 5,432 street vendors. Under the guidance of NMC Commissioner Radha Krishnan B, a program for street vendors was organized on Saturday at the Suresh Bhatt Hall in Reshim Bagh. Additional Commissioner Sanjay Nipane, Deputy Commissioner Prakash Parade, Pankaj Deshmukh were present in the meeting. As part of the initiative, Additional Commissioner Sanjay Nipane interacted with the street vendors. The stalls of various nationalized banks were set up in the auditorium premises. Well, that's all from this bulletin. For more updates in around the city, stay tuned within the same news. Till then, Ratnaka says goodbye. Please take very good care of yourself and family.